everybody. Happy Wednesday. Welcome to this week's episode of Nicole's Notions brought to you by Pick Your Stitch. February is National Embroidery Month. So this month, every Wednesday, we are going to talk about some of our favorite embroidery notions. And hopefully we will be able to share with you a few things that maybe you haven't thought of yet. This week we are going to talk about threads, just some of the specialty threads that we have here in the store. Our main go-to embroidery thread, our standard embroidery thread is the Floriani. This comes in over 350 colors. This is a 60 weight polyester thread that, like I said, we use kind of as our standard embroidery thread. We like the Floriani thread because it has a really nice sheen to it. So it's going to make your finished project really stand out and look as best as it can look. Now, the one thing that we do advise with is that if you're going to iron with this thread after your project is done, you iron it with a cool iron and make sure you use a, um, a pressing cloth or a towel or something over the top of it so that you don't melt the thread. All right. Now that we've talked about that and the standard stuff, let's get down to the fun stuff. The first fun thread we get to talk about is the variegated thread. The variegated thread is still a 60 weight thread. It's still a polyester and it comes in a wide range of colors. I've only, I've only selected a few here to show you, but we have a, a wide range of colors that this comes in as well. Not quite 350, but we've got a handful. This is a great thread to use if you want to add a little something that is unexpected to your embroidery project. This is not, however, specific just to embroidery. I will use this frequently in quilting. I love to use variegated thread when I'm sewing bags together or any sort of craft project. It's great for a top stitch. It's going to give you that little extra something that is unexpected. Um, it's just going to add that little special touch to your project that you may not have thought of. All right, the next thread we have to talk about tonight is the metallic threads. Now listen, I know a lot of people are afraid of the metallic threads. It's gotten a bad rap. It really, truly has. Metallic threads, they don't jump out at you and they, do, they don't jump out and say, oh, look at me, I'm so shiny. But the metallic threads are great for if you have a star that you need to add some shine to, if you wanna add a little bit of extra glitz. The metallic threads are fabulous for that. Now, they've gotten a bad rap, like I said, because people have had problems with them breaking. I'm going to tell you the secret so that you don't have to worry about having a bad experience with the metallic threads. The metallic threads like to have a long thread path to go off of. So if you're one of the people who own the icons or the epics, something that has that telescoping thread unit on it, you don't need to worry about this as much. If you're somebody that doesn't have one of the telescoping thread holders on your machine, you're going to want to put the thread away from your machine a little bit. You're going to want to make sure that you don't get it stuck in the hand wheel, but you're going to want to give it a longer path to travel and that will help work out any kinks that it gets any folds that it gets any sort of resistance that might come that longer thread path is going to help out with that metallic another thing that is going to help out with your metallic threads is if you put them upside down for whatever reason this works better when you put it upside down metallic threads are not a thread that you're going to want to walk away from your machine while it's stitching out. This is, a, this is a thread that I will sit and babysit my machine and I will turn the speed down a little bit. Like I said, if you, if you treat it right and if you're watching it, you're not gonna have a problem with it. It's a great asset to have in your thread stash. All right, we're done with the metallic threads. Let's talk about the micro threads. The micro threads are something that in my opinion, are kind of indispensable. Again, we offer them in a wide range of colors, but I'm gonna show you what the huge deal is with the micro threads. This is an example that was stitched out with your regular 60 weight embroidery thread. This is the very same thing stitched out with micro thread. Look at the difference. So anytime you have any kind of lettering that you need to do on a project, especially if it's a smaller font, the micro thread is the way that you want to go. I even put it in my bobbin and use it as my bobbin thread as well. So those are some of the embroidery threads that we carry here in the shop. And our normal deal with the threads is that they are buy four, get one free. This week, between now and next Wednesday, February 10th, 
our thread will be buy four, get two free. And we also have this free design for you. This is a design that Amy created in the software. She used some of the new features in the software update and it's absolutely gorgeous. I stitched this out and made it into a pillow. It'd be really cute on a tote bag for Valentine's Day or it would look great just as a wall hanging. This is a free design. All you have to do is come in the store and bring your USB stick and we will put it on that stick for you. I hope that today's talk about thread has made you want to branch out a little bit and try a couple of different things. We will see you next week for another episode of Nicole's Notions.